Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I guess I'm going to say what I've said for the last three days now is I came very close to not doing a video today. But I am going to try to see how this goes. I mean, one of these days I will actually get a video done early. And then we can kind of put that behind us. It'll probably be tomorrow for you watching this, which is actually today for me. Because it's uh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And so I know late uh, tomorrow, which is tomorrow for me. <laughs> so you can understand that. Uh, which is Tuesday I, I do have a uh, I have a gig I have to do all day Tuesday so I'm gonna have to get up early and so I won't be able to do any late night video then so I'm probably going to try to do my video that I will air Tuesday later today uh, and then you guys will actually see that tomorrow which is actually going to be the yeah it'll be Tuesday for you too but anyway uh, it's about 2 in the morning so I didn't want to get too complex into things and what I've decided to do is I I finished painting these miniatures up uh, probably back in January they go to the uh, GW um, I think they're called the Palantine Enforcers. That's the name of them. But pretty much I finished them during my during one of my 100 miniature painting challenges. But I never got the uh I never got the uh I guess the little symbols that go on their chest. Which are these up here. I never put those on the figures. So I'm going to try to do that today. Or tonight these are very small I mean I'm usually pretty good with doing decals but those are very small and so I'm trying to see exactly exactly where they should go so it looks like I have two four six eight eight larger ones how many figures one two three four five six seven eight you get nine figures I think is that right because I, I don't know if I have enough to do the larger ones otherwise what are they for so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten this guy you can't even see his emblem so he's definitely not getting one these this is a 3d print that's a that's actually a judge dread 3d print so I've got only have eight of the larger ones but I have ten figures which doesn't make sense why they would give me ten these are two four six eight so I have ten of those images and ten of the smaller ones so I'm thinking these larger ones don't go on there but we will see. I will show you guys how I do decals like this one. Especially when they're very small. So we're going to cut this strip out. Here. And this is a strip of... A strip of five. So we will sit that in that water and you just want to let that sit for about uh, I don't know about a minute in the meantime I also want to get the decals on this drone this is actually a model like a small box model which I bought uh, bought from somebody in Canada on eBay but it comes with these decals which I have not put on here. MQ-9 Reaper Drone. So I will see if I can find the, uh, the box. So if, if you're interested in trying to find one of those, they're called Mini Wings. Uh, they're pretty decent scale for 28, 32 millimeter. But so this shows me the decals for that. 
So I will also try to get one of those out just to test it. So this one, this one is supposed to go somewhere here. Well, that might not fit there, but plus, I don't know. So we will wet that. <clears throat> So doing decals is something you can kind of do late at night if you're not really, if you're not, if you don't really have quite enough energy to be trying to paint. So next we're going to take a brush, regular paintbrush, and I also like to take some uh, tweezers. And so we're going to get this sheet out. Uh, The way you can tell if they're ready, well, let me just pick this up with my hands, is if the decals start to come off. And so you could see there, as soon as I touched it with my hand, that's why I was trying to use the tweezers. So we're gonna get some of the water off by putting this on here. One of the decals I've already lost. I've only got four on here. So one of them is in the water. But just to do a test, we are going to try to slide this decal down. This brush is not, not doing too good. I might need a different brush. So that Those bristles are not tough enough. So let's see what kind of brush could do this. The trick is we're just, we're really just trying to slide this off the sheet onto his chest. So. So that one came off, but it immediately rolled over, folded up. So that was no good. We're going to try this next one. Use a different brush. This one is not strong enough either. So you want to get as firm a brush as you can get, even if it's not a one that you use for painting. Man, this brush fell on the floor. Uh, uh. Oh my goodness, that was that was a pain. All right, so we're gonna try to slide another one down, and because of where we're trying to put this, it's not easy. Now that one didn't go on. See if we can get this one out the water. Maybe I should let them all go into the water. So this one is on, but now we, we're trying to turn it the right way. And so I'm going to try to get my hobby knife. If I can find it. Of course I can't find it when I need it. Where's my other hobby knife? So now I don't see any of my hobby knives. They're all hiding. Uh, this is ridiculous. I got all this crap on this desk. And I can't find anything when I need it. You gotta be kidding me. I've got like four hobby knives. And now I can't find any of them. I'm telling you, it's too late at night to be doing this. be kidding me well here's one. Oh, and there goes the camera because of course everything is in my way on this desk you know and I don't I don't even know what it is I would move if I tried to move some stuff 
So this one, I think I've got... I've got it on here, but it's got a lot of water in it. And I don't even know. I think it's upside down. Let me see. If I can get some of the water out. If you get too much water under there, because the decal just wrinkle. Let me try again. Because it did come off. <sighs> so is that facing the right way? No, this one is upside down. So we're trying to turn this ever so slightly and I know you can't even see that but that's what we're trying to do now I usually will go over these with some kind of glue but that would be after we've applied it this guy I don't know his decal won't nothing his arms are blocking where his would go but maybe I can just throw it down there let me see these brushes do not want to get these decals off sometimes you can pick them up with your hobby knife and lay them on the model but that depends on the decals and the figure Ugh. They're so small. Alright, so I got this one on my hobby knife. Really, you probably want to do these... You know, if you're building these before you put their arms on. Either that or... Just pretend that they're on there and just paint, paint a black spot on the figure where the decal would normally show. So his, you can't tell his is upside down. So we will try this guy. And lay him down. And put this decal right on top of his chest. Let's see. And there's only 10 of them you're trying to do, but man. Between them tearing and pilling and pilling and tearing. It's a huge pain. But I think they'd be worth it if I can if I can get them on right. So we kinda got his on. If you can see that. So that's three down. We got seven more to go. But I need to cut some more out. They do give you plenty. So <laughs> obviously they know these are these are not going to stay. So this time I'm not going to let it stay in the water that long. Because I think some of the adhesive might have came off. If you leave it in the water too long. Some of the adhesive will wash off and it it won't stick that well. So we have these we're going to do. And then I have something else I'm going, oh yeah, I still gotta do the Reaper. This thing has probably been in here long enough too. I almost forgot about this. I don't know how good these decals are. And I'll be honest with you. The place where they say it's supposed to go, there's really not enough room from what I can see because of the these little modules at the top. So unless it folds over the bottom, which it looks like, I mean, there is a little room to fold it over. All right, so... That one went on a little better than theirs did. We're gonna do the other. We're gonna put the other side in here for that. Uh, right there. Let that soak. In the meantime, let's take this one out. And 
we're gonna put it on this paper get some of the water out on both sides flip it over and let's try to do another trooper with the chest so we're not even gonna fool with the brushes I'm just gonna use So that was the easiest one so far. So maybe I did let them stay in there too long last time. Because that one came off and it seemed like as soon as it hit, it set. I might have some decals set left. Which would probably be better than glue. Because the glue can obscure the decal and make it look uh, opaque. So that one is wasted. That one was not staying. Let's try another one. So this one is on. But now we got to try to get it in the right way. So, this one almost feels like it has no adhesive, because it does not want to, it does not want to conform at all. But we got it on, so we're going to do this one, and then we're going to go back to the Reaper drone. So this one is... Gonna pull this down. And I think we got another one. Put a little water to reactivate this. And so you can see here, I got, got another one. They're not perfect, but so we got this guy here who's kind of kneeling, this one who's kneeling. A few of these, like I said, you can't even really see where it would go. So I'm just really trying to slide these anywhere in there. And calling it good enough. I'm not even trying to put them on the right upside down or not. Alright, so his is on there. And then we've got to put another set in the water. So we're going to cut these out. So the one thing you don't want to do is try to cut these off individually. You know, and then soak them and try to put them on. I've seen people try to do that. Well, actually, I haven't seen people try to do that. But I assume that's what people try to do when they say they, they couldn't get the decals on. It's because I think they were trying to apply them individually. One little decal off the sheet at a time. And you can't really do that. you got to wet the whole sheet up. And then, uh, and then work, work, just pull one off at a time. And so the Reaper drone is actually, these decals are actually pretty decent. It looks like they even, 
I think they actually um, cut these so that they would join right there at the top. Uh, still a lot of water in there, so they're going to need some glue or some decal set too. In the meantime, we will get the next one, which I think this is like Customs and Border Patrol, which are these two. So we're going to let these two soak. Because those will be nice. And while we're waiting on that, let's see if these are ready. They, they look ready. Let's get some of that water off. And now we're going to do this, this figure here. And we got more than enough of these left now, so you can kind of kind of pick anyone on the sheet that that you think would go on there easiest like I just did I just grabbed the one out the middle I didn't start from the end we're gonna work that in with a little water this guy you really can't see his but what I'm going to try to do is take one, put it on my brush, and then see if I can get it in there with the tip of this brush. This might not work. It may curl up, but I'll give it I'll give it one attempt. If it if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So now I'm going to slide this onto the brush because it doesn't want to come off of this sheet. So it went on the knife, but I wanted to go on the brush. So there's something in there. I don't know if it's right side up or not. All I know is it looks it looks black or dark. So we got that on there. This guy is like a 3D print that I simply painted to match the Palantine Enforcers. So what I'm going to do is put some on his kneecaps. If they'll fit. I mean, it's not made for the... They're not made for this model, but... If I can get them on here, that would be cool. So he's got one on that kneecap. And I think I can get one on here. Where this yellow is at. I actually think they're supposed to have some on their kneecaps too, but I'm not I'm not doing all that. I'm just I'm just happy to have the ones on their chest. So I think they I think they do have like some serial numbers, but I'm not I don't think I'm gonna use them. Uh, now though I am wondering if I should at least try to do their kneecaps. Although I don't think I got enough. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. If there's 10 of them, I'd need 20. And I don't have 20. So. And I'm not putting one on my Judge. My Judge Dredd 3D print. He's not getting any Palantine Enforcer symbols. Oh, I got this guy over here. Who doesn't have one on his chest? Let's see if we have any extras. That's empty. Where'd they go? I thought I had some extras. Uh, so we're gonna have to wet another sheet. Oh, I put them on that guy's knee. I was wondering where they went. So we'll we'll do one more sheet. Maybe I'll put one on one on just one on their knee instead of doing one on each knee, like the the book shows. 
So these we are drying and we are going to apply like so. Hopefully these will slide off better than the other. Oh crap, they're wrinkling. Oh my goodness. That's what you don't want to see is when it it starts to wrinkle on you because these things are they can be impossible to straighten out if you let them if they fold up on themselves so but that one we actually got on there so you see that so now we're going to do the other side and again you know we're trying to get this on here without it wrinkling this is the kind of stuff you really like to do but it's so easy to put off you almost can will never do it then eventually what happens is oh I'm tearing up the symbol goodness on this one is not going on right eventually what happens is you lose it yeah, this one is this one is is really fighting me. But I'll say eventually what happens is you lose your decal sheets and they never get put on or you you wind up just painting something clumsy on there. Or what I mo normally do is I just take a sheet from another model and proxy it in. All right, so this one, the, the Border Patrol symbol got messed up. But, I don't know. You figure if it's, if it's being used on missions, you know, maybe that would happen. Maybe it got, got shot at. So anyway, we got, we got those sort of on there. And then there's supposed to be a symbol under the wings. And that would be it. We got the symbol under the wings, under one one of each wing, and then we will have the uh, the ID number, and that that should be it for that. So not a lot to do on this. We will put some decal set on that, but then that Reaper will be ready to fly. And this is a custom base. Well, not custom, but I just made this base for it. So it didn't come with that. Uh, let's get this back out. Take out this sheet. I'm going to put it here. Kind of dry it. See if I can get one under this guy's chest. This one looks like I didn't even paint his chest yellow because I probably said, what's the point? I'm not going to be able to fit a decal on there. Uh, yep, I didn't even paint this guy's chest yellow. So I don't even think you can see the decal. I don't even know if it went on there. Very interesting. Because I think I did not paint his chest yellow because I couldn't see it with his weapon there. So the question is, do I do anything with it? No, I'm just going to leave that like it is. You know, sometimes you got to leave well enough alone. But I may be able to get some on a few of their knees. So let's see here. Oh, that one. That one kind of went on. It doesn't want to stay on, but it went on. So, we got that on one of his knees. And let's do another guy that has a prominent knee. gonna do this one pull that up so that stayed on we'll do the commander's knee if 
anybody deserves one on their knee, it's got to be the commander, right? So we got one on his knee. Let's pull it down a bit. Okay. So you can see that. I mean, I could do the other knee, but I, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna do it. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna do the knees on all of them. I got two more left. So. I'm just going to pick some of them at random and give them these last two. I mean, I guess there's no sense in throwing them out. Okay. Okay. So... I apologize if I don't have a topic for the night because I did come up with a topic, but I decided I, I might just do it as a separate video. So I, I was starting to get together uh, some images to do it as a separate video. And I will I will unveil that when it's ready. So these last two are tearing. I don't know. It's not going. I don't think this is going to come off or go on. Sometimes if they fold, you know, you can't even slide them off no more because they've folded in on themselves. But it looks like I got it on there. Okay, let me see if I can find my decal set. Let's see if I can remember what it looks like. I can't find my decal set. If I can't do that, I'm going to take some glue and some water. Because if you don't set it, when you touch it with your finger, a lot of them decals will just come off. And I don't see any of my decal set, so I might be out or I might have misplaced it. So this is custom enamel system decal solvent solution. Let me read this. Apply solvent to a buffed or gloss surface, dip decal in water. Place on tissue, position decal, reapply solvent. So you can't put this over it. So maybe this will, this will work. I didn't do all them other steps, but this should work. So we will get some of this. And really, I think all you have to do is kind of touch it. Although, unfortunately, I think I put too much, and now it's reactivating the decals. So. I don't have any idea. I could not tell you if this really 
makes a difference or not, to be honest with you. I'm just using it because that's what it's supposed to do. So, I'm kind of just going through here, touching these each with a loaded brush. Loading the brush with a little of the solvent. Touching it somewhere on the model. And then hopefully the solvent will dry. And it will lock these in. If it doesn't, they will all fall off over time, and I won't even remember that I put them on. Okay, so I think that's that's going to be good for them. We're going to take this out of the water, kind of dry it very lightly, and then these go on the bottom, the underneath here. So... That's interesting, but it's what it says. So that's funny. So you got one, two. I don't know. So I guess there's one go on the top and one go on the bottom. You know what? I'm going to put these up top. Because their directions look a little confusing. There's another sheet that it seems to be saying goes in the same spot. And so I take that to mean that one goes in that spot on the top of the wing or tail or whatever fin stabilizer. And the other goes in that position on the bottom. And so I'm going to put these in here. In the meantime, we're going to put some decal set on this kind of, this one here. If any, if, if this stuff should work on anything, it should work on this, this big old piece. We're going to put a little on there. And so... I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this Reaper drone. Uh, and then we're going to get those decals out of there. And then after that, I think the only other thing I still want to work on on here is... I think most of the rest of this on here can be put up. Because I think all of this... This has to be painted. But all of this has been uh, painted and uh, painted and hit with a spray varnish. So all of this is kind of ready to be put up. I've got to repair that. And these guys have to dry. Let this dec let these decals dry. And then. Uh, that will be it. Let me show you the, uh, this is from a company, 3D prints from a company called Turnbase Miniatures. This is called United States Marine Corps Survivors. And this is based on the movie, uh, Lone Survivor. It had Mark Wahlberg in it. You know, about this SEAL team that goes on a mission. I think it's in Afghanistan or Iraq or something to try to get this militia leader but they wind up getting tore up when they get discovered and they have no comms uh, to get you know evac or rescue so let's move these out of the way we're gonna get back to this reaper drone this last decals that are going on here so actually, I'm kind of glad that I finally got around to getting these on because uh, I kind of bought the kit. One of the reasons I bought the kit that I bought was because it did have decals. 
And, you know, if you wind up not using them, then it's like, you know, you just should have stuck with your 3D prints. Because you can get 3D prints of, of these Reaper drones, but... I think I paid about $20 for this one just because, like I said, it had the custom patrol decals, you know, border patrol or customs patrol or whatever. Uh, which will work very well with my Spectre Operations campaign called the War on Drugs. You know, having a border patrol or customs patrol. Uh, drone and so we got those two under there and then these are kind of sitting right there and that's pretty much it you know you don't they don't overdo it with these decal kits all right so that hopefully that decal set will dry sometimes it doesn't I've used that sometimes and it dries and the, 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 the decal still slides off so then you have to use like some white mix a little white glue with some water and dab that on there but I mean this is what it calls it decal solvent so I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to do now one of the things I left out to show you guys were these kind of 3D prints here. And I don't even remember what they were. I think these were from turn-based miniatures too. Right? And when I first saw these, I thought of uh, District 9. If you remember that movie where like these robots lived in slums and, you know, you had police. And I think there were some robot police in there too. But... I recently saw a movie that I thought was pretty good. I had never seen it before. Called Code 8. And so what this movie is about is... It's kind of the near future where 4% of the population is born with some kind of superpower. Right? And basically though they're discriminated against. Like the rest of the population is afraid of them. They won't hire them for certain jobs. And they're kind of reduced to crime and criminal activity. And so you have this special police force, this Code 8 police force with these robots that are called in whenever the police encounter, you know, a super or a power or whatever they call them in the movie. And it's pretty cool because, you know, some of them can like shoot fire. Some of them have strength. Some of them are invulnerable. Some of them can heal people. Some of them can do electrical blast or whatever. You know, but mostly all of them can be killed. And so these cops, when, when they deal with a super, these guys will come in on a helicopter or some type of police drone. And they just drop to the ground. They just slam down, crash down. And they just start lighting up these supers and stuff. And so this story is basically about this guy who starts doing crime with this group of supers, you know, to try to get pay for his mom uh, some type of, you know, cancer surgery or something. But, I mean, I, I don't know who did the movie. It's actually well done. I mean, I think the acting and stuff is pretty good. I think this is the guy. Oh, my light turned off. One second. All right, sorry about that. That's just a timer. It's three. That means it's three in the morning. But this is the guy that stars in Arrow. Uh, if you watch, I think it's the WB or whatever. So he's actually pretty good in here. Uh, but I thought it was a good movie. If you can track this down, I'd recommend you watch it. But so after I saw that, of course, then I wanted to paint my guys up, you know, in that kind of style. Of these police, these police robots that get dropped down, right? And they just, they just light up anybody that the regular police or SWAT team cannot handle. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the progress that I made on the, uh... The progress that I made on my my rice patty. So let me show you that. 
and there we go so I may put a few more tufts here or there and I am going to I'm gonna put some more hodgepodge on the darker areas because like I had to let let this glue dry so I could get the the uh, rice patty like the lanes in there and so you know I'm kind of cleaning out the excess flock and stuff now and then I'm just gonna put one more coating of Mod Podge on there and uh, this should actually be ready to go so hopefully this Mod Podge will dry clear uh, wow what is that this, this bottle is bad <sighs> yuck I don't want that messing up my thing so and then this will be done I'm actually thinking of making another one so that I have kind of two I wind up with like two identical rice patties. Where's my water at? <sighs> but I mean this was this was actually pretty easy. Everything said and done. You know. I hope this I hope I don't mess this up. I hope this dries <laughs> dries clear and glossy cuz if it dries with that white thing, I'm going to be very, very upset. But I think I saw somebody do this. Unless I wasn't paying attention. So, let's see. We will see in the morning whether this gives me the desired effect. That's just another piece that's glopped up. Get that off. But yeah, if it works, I think I have one more of these canvas boards and I will do another one. I don't like to do two of the same things at once because I like to see how it comes out first and then improve improve on that technique so once I do this I will see what lessons I can learn from it and apply to uh, the other one that I'm gonna do but that would give me two nice kind of fields rice fields for my Vietnam game <sighs> But like I said, now we just have to wait and see, make sure this dries clear. There's a few thick areas that I'm going to get rid of because I don't want them to harden and glob up. So, because even if they, I mean, I'm assuming, like I said, they will dry clear, but I don't want those thick areas. Although you can probably go back over them with some flock if they... You know, if they glob up. But that should be good. So we're going to just let that dry. And I'll show you guys that uh, the next night. But so we're going to call it at there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, just hobbying with me. If you got any questions about the decal work, if you're thinking of doing some decals or... You, you're having a problem with some decals you know if I can help you I will alright take care everybody and God bless <laughs>